Hey guys, it's Marty and welcome to Two Line Slot Cars. This is part two of my top 10 analog no magnet cars on my layout. These are the cars that I'm loving to drive right now that I really enjoy. I love to look at them. They just, they're my favorite right now. Now that's subject to change because um, for some reason I've kind of got this sickness and I end up with new cars about every couple of weeks. <laughs> So I'm adding to the collection. This whole thing started when I kind of broke down my collection of my favorite cars by lap time. And then I really realized that maybe if it's not the fastest car, um, it's not my favorite car. Now, I love all of my cars, even my really slow cars. I enjoy every car that I have. But we're going to break down five through one. So let's get started. Here's number five. Number five is the slotted Hexel Group C car, the Porsche 962. I love this livery. This thing looks fantastic. I really, really enjoy driving it. Um, but this car has got a little problem. Um, I've, I had some damage to the and broke the chassis. And I've got another chassis coming. Um, but uh, I picked this up uh, racing one night at Cincy Slots, uh, mainly because I wanted a Group C car. And uh, there was a race um, that uh, my friend Jamie was hosting at his house, and they were running Group C, so I wanted to pick up a car, and then I ended up not being able to make it to the race. So but I got it tuned up, running pretty good, raced at my house, broke the chassis, it quit performing well. Uh, but yeah, this is a great car. Um, I really like the Porsche 962. It's just, it's just, it's just fantastic. But I got this thing tuned up, and it runs really well. It is running a 8582, which is actually a tie with um, the uh, my slot at GT40, which did not make the top 10, mostly because that car is pretty much destroyed. It still runs great, but, man, it's just a mess. But that is the Hexel uh, Porsche 962. Yeah, I love it. Okay, now we've reached the top four cars. Now... It was really difficult to put one of these cars above the rest. I mean, the margin of victory here, if you want to call it that, is super, super thin. I really love driving all of these cars. So, yeah, it was a tough decision. They're all really, really close. And on any given day, um, they really, uh, they kind of move around. I'll be honest with you. But number four is the NSR Mosler. It's the 10th anniversary edition. Um, this car is fast. This car runs a 7993. 7993. This is the first car on my layout, no magnets, that, was, that broke the eight-second barrier. And it did it within the probably the first... 10 or 15 laps that I ran after I got it tuned up. Um, I've done a lot to this car, but this car came from Jeff D. Um, he sent it to me, just super kind, just a wonderful gift, and I really, really enjoy it. And the channel helped me decide whether this was going to be a shelf queen or if it was going to hit the track. And, well, as you see, I got it tuned up and hit the track, and it ran <laughs> 7993. It's amazing. Um, it's pretty much stock. I mean, the only thing I've done is I set the float. I put a slot invasion guide. Shout out to Oscar. Um, and some super tires. Uh, 1403s on this car. And it's a rocket ship. So if you've ever thought about getting a Mosler, um, NSR makes some really fast cars, great cars. This thing was, was easy to tune. Really easy to tune. So I recommend that um, if you want a fast car, grab the Mosler. It's the number four car in my top 10 favorite cars right now. The number three car in my top 10 list of cars that I love right now is the NSR GT40. Um, it's a golf livery. I mean, who doesn't love a golf livery? 
but I tuned this thing up and it it moves. Um, it runs an eight one zero zero on my layout, so um, it's getting close, really close to that eight second um, dropping under that eight second barrier. And I think with some more laps, um, maybe a little bit more tuning. I think if I loosen the motor pod a little bit, um, I think I might be able to eke out a little bit more um, and maybe get the uh, front. Um, yeah, let's take a look at it. Get that uh, front end just uh, tightened up a little bit. The front, the front wheels um, move a little too much. So I think if I tighten those up a little bit, um, we'll be good. But man, I mean, look at that car. It's just a beautiful, beautiful car. And uh, this car came from my buddy, John Bacon. And uh, it, uh, it really means a lot. Um, he knows that uh, GT40s are, uh, gosh, one of my favorite cars of all time. And uh, you throw that in a golf livery. Come on. Come on. What a beautiful car as your number three car in the top 10 list. So we're down to the last two, number two and number one on the list of top 10 cars that Marty loves right now. So we're going to throw in an honorable mention here. Um, I picked up a car and it was a white kit um, this week. And um, it was sent to me by one of the subscribers that uh, wanted to remain anonymous. And um, you know who you are. Thank you so much. Um, but the honorable mention is going to go to the SRC, the SRC, Toyota LMP. Um, this car is still a work in progress. Um, I'm putting it together, but I shot, I shot some paint tonight, and I thought it deserved to get thrown in. Check that out. Let's let's get a close up of that. And so, I mean, look at that thing. It just glows. And it's, it's sort of um, a throwback to the marble, marble livery. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put marble stickers on it. Uh, I'm just going to use the, um, the decals that came with the kit. But, man, that, that day glow orange, that fluorescent orange just looks awesome on that car. And so I thought I'd throw it in here. Um, I'm sneaking in an extra. It's my rules, right? I can do what I want. But yeah, this car, um, it runs really good. Um, it run it runs an 847 um, on the layout right now. And it's really not even tuned up yet. Um, I think if I add a little bit of weight, I think if I uh, do some adjustments, there's a lot to adjust on this, uh, on this car. Um, but great car, a fascinating chassis. Uh, SRC really did a great job. Um, there's a lot of engineering in this, but dang, it's looking good. It's looking good. Couldn't kind of get a sneak peek. So that is number two and a half. That works. All right. On to number two. Okay, the number two car in my collection right now of analog no magnet cars is the NSR 908. Um, I just love this livery. This car is fantastic. Let's take a close-up look at it. But you will see that this car has been driven and driven hard. Um, it did, I chipped this car, uh, for a while and I raced it, um, digital and you know how digital cars man, digital cars with magnets, uh, all of the engine parts are gone. They're in a pile over by the, over by the track. Uh, the wing is broke off. This car, this body is in rough shape. It still looks great. Um, and there's some, uh, there's been some work to this thing. Um, I've got it tuned and set up pretty good got quite a bit of float but that baby has got a 25k um, a 25k motor in it um, predator motor but yeah it's got a little bit of mag effect this car is fast this car runs a 7 907 a 7907 on my layout that is my fastest analog car um, it beat out the Mosler um, just the other day. <laughs> but again, I, like I said, it's got, it's got a mag, a mag effect motor. It's got some advantages, but man, you, I mean, you still have to drive the thing and to get a seven, nine Oh seven, uh, this thing was screaming around the track. It is a lot of fun to, to drive. 
So if you have thought that you wanted a 908 um, from NSR, no matter what the livery is, pick one of these up. This car is fantastic. This was my first NSR. Um, I bought this car because uh, Dave Kennedy showed it off um, and published a beautiful picture that actually I have printed and um, in in my podcast room. So uh, it, it became a, a great poster. But I just I just love the livery. It's fantastic. That is number two on my list. And now we're down to number one, the number one car, the number one analog Nomad car on two line speedway is the Thunderslot Elva. And um, the story about this car, uh, this car is fast. Uh, this car was not tuned by me. Uh, this car was a gift from our friend Daryl down at Cincy Slots. And uh, the first night we were ever there, um, I, I raced this car uh, on the track, just testing and learning to, to do some laps um, at Cincy Slots. And um, I think Daryl noticed that I just I fell in love with this thing. And when I left that night, um, he handed it to me and told me to take it home and it was mine. And um, I honestly, I tried to give it back to him and um, he was disappointed in me <laughs> uh, by trying to give it back. Um, so this, this car, I race this car. Um, when we race vintage class, this is my car that I race um, for vintage class. Um, I have other cars now that I could race in that class, um, but this thing, um, I just, it, it's smooth, it's quiet, it's fast. It runs an 8103. So for the longest time, this was my Nomag um, track record holder. And, um, and deservingly so. It is a great, great car. It's well-tuned. Daryl did an amazing job. And um, it's got some scuffs and some scratches. Um, it's been around a track. It's got a lot of laps. Uh, I'm sure Daryl put a lot of laps in it. But I... I have done a ton of laps on my, um, I've probably done 1500 laps with this, with this car or more, um, easily on my layout. It is my favorite car to drive. Um, again, it's not my fastest car. Um, it's sitting there in like the number three spot, uh, right now with track records, but I, it's, it's my favorite car to drive and it's a special gift and I appreciate it and I will cherish it and it will always always be in my collection. Um, but it will, uh, it will always get raced. So at one point it could break and, uh, I have to do some work to it to get it back on the road. Um, and that's okay. Uh, because that's why, um, that's why we have these things. Um, you know, they, they can sit on the shelf and, and look pretty. Um, but I mean, they're slot cars, you know, in the end, these are, uh, these are toys. And so they deserve to be, uh, to be tuned up and raced. So number one, the Thunderslot Elva. If you don't have one of these, they're hard to find now. Pick one up. They are fast. Um, they, they seem to be faster than a lot of the other Thunderslots. And it's not, and they're all close, right? Um, just you can count, you can guarantee that the Thunderslot will be smooth. Um, it will be fast and be very competitive in whatever class you find yourself in. So um, yeah, great car. Love it. Guys, this has been um, the top 10 cars in my collection right now that I love to drive. And those are all analog, no magnet cars, because that's kind of what we're doing right now. So if you like this kind of content, you enjoyed this countdown, you wouldn't want to see another countdown. Uh, maybe you want to see uh, 15 through 11 um, or even 18 through 11, I guess, because that would be all of my analog cars. Um, yeah, let me know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you would like to see uh, because I've got some really good cars that didn't make the top 10. Um, I've got a Nissan LMP that's fast. Um, it didn't make the, and it's, it's a great car. I love driving that car. Um, my, my Flunder, my Porsche 908, my fly car, it didn't make the top 10. Um, it's not super fast. It runs eight nines, but it is a fun car to drive. So there's a lot of cars that we didn't get to. So if you'd like to see those, let me know, leave a comment. Um, maybe I'll make another video, but this has been the top 10. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell to get notified anytime I put out new content. And don't forget, if you like coffee, go visit my friend Trent 
at www.roastcoffee.com. Roastcoffee.com, where if you use two lines, all one word, you get 25% off your first purchase, 20% off a subscription of coffee, um, and go try it out. It's fantastic. I appreciate the, um, you know, I appreciate the help, um, helping my buddy Trent. He sponsors the channel, um, and what he sponsors is the coffee that I give away each week. So tune into my live stream on Tuesdays, um, and where you get a chance to, to win some coffee. So, uh, yeah, guys, thanks. I hope you enjoyed it. Go out there and have some fun racing. Mm-hmm.